In this video, Jesse talks to us about how soil health and changing his crop rotations and introducing animals has actually made money for him. Jesse also talks about infiltration rates, which he frequently measures on his farm. The procedure Jesse uses is to take a six inch ring, hammer it into the ground, and then measure the time it takes for one inch of water to infiltrate. And even if you break even on your small grain, when you look at the, the yield bump you get on your corn, your soybean crop after that, and, and also if you're grazing after your small grain, your profitability goes up. Even though you broke even the one year, you still make more than you would have in the two-year rotation. So basically here, uh, we're in a corn-soybean oat rotation. I used to do rye, but the profits kind of come out of rye in the last few years. Now the reason that I pick oats is, is we raise it as a seed crop, and then we, we started a seed cleaning operation now to where we actually have an air screen and a gravity table, and we clean it and then sell it as a clean product. And so oats works good for us. We, uh, what, what I really like about the three-year rotation is that since we brought in this third crop, our corn yields have gone, corn and soybean yields have gone up significantly. Within a three-year span, my, my soybean yields probably went up three to five bushel an acre across the farm average in corn, 10 to 12. I would have to say that's maybe being, I mean, that's right in there. And that's pretty, they've been, been pretty consistent. Our infiltration rates have increased. And when you raise that oats, it also gives you a chance to diversify your modes of action on your herbicides. So the idea is to try and kind of cut down and like water hemp particularly. What I really like about oats is now we have an opportunity to cover crop in it. And now the Jim and I are putting up fences and this way we can bring livestock back into the system is just another factor which is gonna drive that soil health. You know, I know I, I had gone to some other workshops in the past, they talked about that our soil doesn't have enough microbes in it and then the best way to bring them back is to bring animals back on back into the rotation. But it adds a level of profitability. So here you're, you're raising a third crop that helps increase all the yields on all three crops. Then you turn around, put a cover crop in it, drive soil health, then you can graze animals on it. Then, you know, build a level of productivity back into that. And it kind of works, all, all, you know, it's basically a systems approach is what it is. Cover crops that I like best, I guess, for us is would be putting like a rye and a rapeseed mix in after the oats. No-tilling beans and a rye is just, it's just, you can't believe the difference between that and just going in this straight corn stuff.